Vitamin D and autoimmune disease management. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, it's only recently that we learned that vitamin D supplementation may be really useful in managing autoimmune diseases, at least as part of the management plan. You know, back in the day, you know, originally we, we knew that vitamin D could help to reduce the risk of osteoporosis, but even then, you know, the dosages that we were taught in school were incorrect. We were told to, that the person should get, you know, 200 IUs a day, maybe 400 IUs a day from a multiple vitamin. We know now that's not enough in most cases. And, you know, in the early days, to prevent osteomalacia in children, uh, you know, we were running around the house. I remember my mother chasing me around, you know, with a spoonful of cod liver oil to get that vitamin D through the winter time so that our bones would grow properly because the vitamin D was that important. Then, in recent years, we learned that vitamin D had some important anti-cancer properties. It could slow down the rate at which cells divide and help cells mature to full adult cells. These are two important ways to reduce the likelihood that a, a, a cell will become a cancer cell. But now we're seeing that vitamin D has really important immune modulation properties. So that makes it important in the prevention of cancer, also diabetes, and in autoimmune disease and chronic inflammation. So how does vitamin D help to manage autoimmune disease? Well, we, we're understanding that it does, and very recently in 2002 in the Journal of Immunology, uh, Dr. Zhang showed uh, a in very incredible study showing that one of the ways that vitamin D is helpful is that it inhibits the release of two really inflammatory compounds from, the immu from immune cells. Those compounds are called TNF, or tumor necrosis factor alpha, and interleukin-6, or uh, IL-6. These are powerful cytokines in all autoimmune diseases. The white blood cell that starts to go crazy is called the macrophage, and it starts to secrete you know, excessive amounts of TNF and interleukin-6. And that then, then signals to the other cells to start producing all kinds of inflammatory cytokines and chemicals that really make the autoimmune disease very difficult to manage. So the macrophage is very dysfunctional. Now, uh, what happens is that when those inflammatory chemicals are being produced, not only is there inflammation, but it's causing some cells to divide too quickly, forming nodules and nodes that you see on the hands of people with rheumatoid arthritis and people with ankylosing spondylitis in the spine. You start to get these major spurring, bony growths happening, and the person becomes very rigid and they're in, in a lot of pain. And also in the lungs and in the kidney and the heart, you start to see connective tissue, fibrotic tissue forming that can actually lead to uh, the person's demise as the, as the lungs shut down, the kidneys shut down. So these inflammatory chemicals are really important. So there are drugs that have been invented to, to shut down the over-release or the, the activity of TNF and interleukin-6. But those drugs, those TNF inhibitors, come with side effects like an increased risk of cancer and opportunistic infection, the reactivation of tuberculosis, and some demyelinating problems on nerve cells. So they're not that attractive. So you, if you can minimize your requirement for them, it's important. What we're seeing is that vitamin D has an effect on the macrophage to, to block it from secreting too much of TNF and interleukin-6. That's what Zhang was able to show in the Journal of Immunology in, in 2012. So what are the side effects of taking vitamin D? The side effects are it also reduces your risk of cancer. Doesn't cause cancer, reduces risk. That's what the evidence shows. Reduces risk of infection, doesn't cause infection, increase, and reduces the risk. We know it decreases the risk of osteoporosis, maybe even diabetes. And you know, on March 8, 2012, in the Journal of Neuroscience, we saw an amazing experimental study showing that vitamin D helps to break down the plaque that's related to the development of Alzheimer's disease. So if you can stop the, the beta amyloid plaque from forming and you get the macrophages to gobble it up, your risk of having Alzheimer's disease is significantly lower. So it looks like vitamin D might be able to do that for us as well. There are no drugs that can do all of these things without producing you know, side effects that we were talking about earlier. So it's, rem it's a remarkable substance. And there's a lot of anecdotal evidence and patients and seminar attendees that I've seen over the years who have started to use vitamin D, whether they're MS patients or rheumatoid arthritic patients that have other, some other autoimmune disease, starting to show that they've been helped by it in, in terms of their own personal experience. Vitamin D has also been shown to block the production of a, of a, of a, of a, of a actually encourages rather the production of a very anti-inflammatory 
uh, immune chemical or cytokine known as interleukin-4. So while it's suppressing interleukin-6, which is, anti which is very inflammatory, it's, suppressing, it's encouraging the release of interleukin-4, which helps to suppress inflammation. The problem I have is that most medical doctors don't study nutrition and natural medicine. They don't follow the nutrition journals and, and journals where there's published material like this. So they often don't manage their autoimmune patients by giving them comprehensive nutrition, lifestyle, and supplementation advice that is really targeted. Now, vitamin D is not the whole story. What I would suggest that you do is click on the link below and read my review article called Nutrition and Supplementation Management in Autoimmune Diseases. All the scientific references are there so you know you're getting only sound, evidence-based information from me. If you have an autoimmune disease or any chronic inflammatory state, this is an article that you have to read. Now, remember that at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see uh, footage from my live professional seminars other resources, downloads, videos I've created, they're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my review articles and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them, so you're, you're going to know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.